is time for more info dumping from your boy truly hello it's cold it's a fingerless glove day so we're all talking about our data and sending our data directly to china etc cetera, etc cetera. what does that mean like truly everyone says your data they're taking your data what does that mean it's not your browser history so let's start with what it's not when people say quote your data they are not referring to analytics analytics being like what a company uses to check on the health of their app. Late last year, there was a little bit of an effort from people to try to go dark on Christmas to like punish companies by not letting them have our data. That's not the data they're concerned with. In fact, a coordinated effort like that would just make them be like, oh, people aren't using our app on Christmas. Okay, no one's really looking at that chart anyway. <laughs> it's Christmas. Your usage data of the app is used to create profiles about you, about like what you like, what you do, so on and so forth. That does constitute your data, but just generally being on the app or not, no. But moreover, your data is more of a broad profile of information that has been pieced together about you and everyone you know and everyone around you. Have you ever given a social media app access to your contacts list? You have just doxed everyone on your contacts list. It goes far beyond just showing your contacts in an app. Those contacts are sent to the company and they now know everyone that you know, every phone number that you know that's related to the people that you have in your contacts, their addresses, and any other information you have about them. So whether or not you are on a given service, they might still have a profile about you if somebody that you know has you in their contacts. I was recently suggested an account on TikTok from a person who I had a momentary entanglement with over a decade ago and haven't talked to since then. Not because of bad blood, but just because of life. I haven't talked to this person, I haven't had any contact with them, but they must have shared their contact information to TikTok, who then matched it with my number, which I had to give them at one point when I was signing up for being able to receive payouts which they're not supposed to be able to use. Uh, that's not a TikTok exclusive thing. This has happened to me on every social media platform. Like another example is I haven't had a Facebook profile since 2012, but as recently as like 2019, they showed a pseudo profile of me to someone who they thought knew me based on the information that was collected about me from other people. I don't want to be there. I, why? Now it goes beyond just contacts and whatnot. If you have an app on your Wi-Fi network, that app might be scanning everything on your network, collecting information about everyone else's devices. So by just having a given app, it might know that someone else who's in your household has a certain name and a certain device. And then of course, there's just the data that you produce by way of engaging with a given piece of software. So if you're posting stuff on social media, you you are giving them your data by way of building up a profile of the posts that you've made that they can then use to analyze and figure out how to sell you stuff or how to sell you to other people who then will do nefarious things which range from trying to sell you things to trying to hack your bank account and so to answer the question of why should you care about your data it really comes down to you and how much of a threat you feel things are however i would encourage you to err on the side of caution for the sake of everyone around you. And also because they're getting money from you existing that belongs to you. That's your effort that they're profiting off of in secret. That's yours. They should owe you. And it goes beyond just companies having your data. Let's say there's somebody in your life that's doing something morally understandable, but technically illegal. And the state decides that they want to start going after those people. They can go to these companies and demand your information. Demand to see is this person staying with you? We think they are. Ah, yes, I see right here. This person, their phone was on a network that was connected to the same network as the person we're looking for. So we now have a recent geolocation of this person that we're hunting. This is not an abstract concept. This literally happened. So what can you do? Well, unfortunately, not a ton without actually having comprehensive privacy laws established by our government, which they've shown time and again they're not interested in actually doing. But you can still make good choices. As far as reclaiming what's already out there, that ship has sailed. But moving forward, here are a few very easy things that I would suggest that you try. Starting with, use a fake name. I know that seems very simple, but use a fake name. Anywhere that there is an app that has a first name, last name field, use 
fake names unless you actually have to use your real legal name. Use throwaway email addresses and use different email addresses for everything that you sign up for. And I'm not just talking about the trick with like Gmail where you put a plus at the end of your email address. I mean, wholly different email addresses. There are services that will do that for you. Uh, Apple actually built into iOS will just generate a random email address for you, stuff like that. Personally, I use Fastmail and I generate a new throwaway email address for every service I sign up for. This way, if a given service is hacked, it can't really easily be tied back to all of your other accounts on every other platform. It's the same as using a different password everywhere so that if you get owned from one place, they can't just use that password to log into all of your accounts, but you're using a different email. So they won't be able to find your other accounts. If you have access to your router at home, you can try to look up the manual and see if there's a way to disable the ability for devices to scan for other devices. I will caution that that may break some normal functionality for stuff, but it's a spooky concept. Uh, here's one, don't use smart devices if you don't need to. They are not smart, they simply tattle on you more. If you have an old phone that is still capable of working, Use that to make a dummy phone to install apps that you're not super sure about. Don't have anything else important on there that basically gives you a little bit of a sandbox. It's not perfect, but it's better than having something on your actual phone that's malicious. You can also, if you have the means, take proactive steps like going to a service like Delete Me or something like that, which actively goes out and tries to remove your data from data brokers. But largely just understand that your data is much more about the abstract concept of profiles generated about you from things that you did not give permission to generate a profile from rather than I logged on today. This was far from comprehensive. Very, very far from comprehensive. But this is a massive subject and I, I can't, I can't summarize it in one video. I'm going to be leaning in a bit more into just talking tech stuff like this. So if you, if you want to learn more, check me out. Anyway, it's cold outside.